Hello guys, I am Harun and it's your YouTube channel Harun Biojohn. Today in this video, I will discuss 54 very very important and conceptual MCQ questions from the chapters Biomolecules. Here in this video, I will discuss this question very elaborately in each and every point of this question are discussed here <clears throat> so don't be late let's go and start this video the first question of this video is what are the most diverse what are the most diverse molecules in the cell the lipids proteins minerals and carbohydrate which one is most diverse elements so here the correct answer of this question is proteins proteins are most diverse <coughs> molecules in the cell because total body weight 50 percent of total body weight are contain proteins lipid is the so proteins is the structural unit structural unit of cell uh, of body it makes enzyme it makes hormone it makes nucleic acid nucleic acid muscle bone etc lipids is the storage molecule storage molecule of body of body is a high energy molecules because because it from one kilo one gram of lipid produce 9.3 kilocalorie of energy and lipid are stored in adipose tissue store in adipose tissue adipose tissue okay and the carbohydrate is the source of energy source of energy energy food energy food okay and mineral salts are micro elements and macro elements so here the most diverse molecule in the cell is proteins next question radioisotope radioisotopes used to detect newly synthesized proteins is so which radioisotope is used to detect the newly synthesized proteins here the correct answer is s35 sulfur 35 is required to detect the newly synthesized protein sulfur containing amino acid sulfur containing amino acids are amino acids are cysteine cysteine methionine homocysteine homocysteine cysteine and taurine this amino acid contain sulfur n15 is used to detect the semi conservative mode of replication semi conservative vetive mode of replication mode of replication by Michelson and Stahl Michelson and Stahl along with N14 or light isotope N14 okay so s35 the radioisotope that is used to detect newly synthesized protein and n15 is used to detect the semi-conservative mode of application by muscle and stall with along with n14 or light radioisotope 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एट इट्स आइसो इलेक्ट्रिक पॉइंट ए प्रोटीन हैज नेट नेगेटिव चार्ज नेट पॉजिटिव चार्ज नो नेट नो नेट चार्ज तो हेयर द एमोन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एमोन एसिड दैट इज एन एस थ्री प्लस दिस इज आल्फा कार्बन सी ओ माइनस कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप एच एन आर तो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एमोन एसिड वेयर नेट नेगेटिव नेट चार्ज इज माइनस वन एंड प्लस वन सो दिस दिस न्यूट्रलाइज एंड द नेट चार्ज इज जीरो नेट चार्ज इज जीरो सो दिस फॉर्म ऑफ एमोन एसिड इज कॉल्ड आइसो इलेक्ट्रिक पॉइंट आइसो इलेक्ट्रिक आइसो मीन्स सेम इलेक्ट्रिक मीन्स इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिक पॉइंट एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड जुटर आयन जुटर आयन ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज नो नेट चार्ज देर इज नो नेट चार्ज If a if adds on the acid, then amino acid have plus one, and if basic is called minus one. Number four, which one is amino acid? Amino acid. What is amino acid? There is amino groups are present. So what is amino acid? Well, when the amino acid becomes amino acid, this is. suppose this n h2 r c when hydrogen is removed hydrogen is removed this is amino acid amino acid when hydrogen is removed it convert into amino acid amino acid this is the formula of amino acid okay this is amino acid the so whole amino acid remove two hydrogen it converts into amino acid and when again water absorb then convert into keto acid this is keto acid Keto acid. So when the amino acid remove hydrogen group to hydrogen group, it convert into amino acid, and this amino acid when absorb to uh, absorb one molecule of H two O, it convert into keto acid. So here the correct option is proline. Proline is the amino acid. What is the structure of proline? The structure of proline is proline structure C. NH and this NH is sorry the structure of proline proline is a amino acid ammonia ch2 ch2 and this is cis h so this is the structure of proline or amino acid clear So here, correct option. The which one is amino acid? When the amino acid remove two hydrogen molecules, it convert into amino acid. When it this amino acid absorb H two, it convert into keto acid. So here, the correct option is proline, where the amino form is produced. The pepsin, pepsin is a digestive enzyme. Digestive, digestive enzyme. secret from parietal cell of stomach parietal cell of stomach that convert protein into peptone 
and renin is the digestive enzyme digestive enzyme protein digestive enzyme enzyme of infant not present in adult condition and cysteine is a sulfur containing amino acid amino acid okay the correct option is b next question essential versus non essential amino acid is so here the correct option is valine and tyrosine so what is essential amino acid essential amino acid not produced in our body not produced in our body in our body this is essential non essential that is produced inside body inside body that is called non essential amino acid so essential body amino acid are collect or uh, are collect in, in the body from digest from metabolic product so which one is essential amino acid here some uh, essential amino acid lysine lysine leucine and isoleucine again tryptophan tryptophan threonine and phenylalanine alanine valine and methionine these are essential amino acid and semi essential amino acid that means these amino acid are important in infant or child condition but and during adult condition it is not necessary semi essential essential amino acids are arginine and histidine arginine and histidine clear so lysine and leucine these are essential amino acid lysine and leucine both are essential amino acid methionine and threonine methionine these are also essential amino acid essential amino acid alanine and cysteine alanine and cysteine these are non essential amino acid both are non essential amino acid and acid i think you clearly understand this questions the next question is in which of the following groups are all polysaccharide which of the following are fully polysaccharide following points represent fully polysaccharide not monosaccharide monosaccharide and not disaccharide the so polysaccharide means when 10 or more more monosaccharide monosaccharide joined by glycosidic bond glycosidic bond when 10 or more glycosidic bond joined by glycosidic uh, 10 or more monosaccharides joined by glycosidic bond they produce polysaccharides so here sucrose sucrose is disaccharide that made by glucose and fructose sucrose is made by glucose and plus fructose this is called fructose this is called table sugar table sugar so this is not polysaccharide glucose is monosaccharide monosaccharide that is made by single unit of sugar fructose fructose is also monosaccharide mono fructose is called fruit sugar monosaccharide this is fruit sugar fruit sugar the sugar are found in fruits but this is aldose sugar a monosaccharide glucose is aldose sugar and fruits of fructose is keto sugar keto sugar maltose glucose and 
glucose converted this is disaccharide that is maltose is made by two molecules of glucose two unit of glucose that is disaccharide lactose glucose and galactose this is through milk sugar lactose is lactose made by glucose plus galactose so it is it is disaccharide it is called milk sugar milk sugar glycogen glycogen is a polysaccharide that is the storage product of animals and fungus animal and fungus and some bacteria sucrose this is disaccharide glucose plus fructose and maltose glucose and glucose maltose so sucrose and maltose is disaccharide but glycogen is polysaccharide but in d option that is glycogen is a polysaccharide glycogen polysaccharide storage product of storage sugar of animal fungi and some bacteria some bacteria cellulose is a structural unit of plants cell wall structural unit unit of plant cell wall cell wall cellulose is made by 100 to 6000 made by 100 to 6000 sugar Hmm. Cellulose is made by hundred to six thousand sugar unit. Okay, and it starts also storage sugar of plant storage sugar of plant. So, which option represent all polysaccharide? This is D. D is the correct option of this question. So, in which of the following groups are all polysaccharides? All polysaccharides are D option. The correct option is the group. Uh, correct option is D. That is glycogen, cellulose, and starch. Next question is. Question number seven. Cellulose, the most important con cellulose. Cellulose is a polysaccharide. Most important constituent of plant cells. वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ सो यहाँ पे बोलना चाहते हैं कि जो सेलुलज है सेलुलज है जो प्लांट सेल वॉल का प्लांट सेल वॉल का स्ट्रक्चरल यूनिट है वो उसका कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ प्लांट सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ वो किससे बनता है सो सेलुलज इज द सिक्स हंड्रेड वन हंड्रेड सेलुलज मेड बाय हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड टू सिक्स थाउजेंड शुगर और ग्लूकोज यूनिट ग्लूकोज यूनिट जॉइन बाय ग्लाइकोसाइडिक बॉन्ड दिस इज अल्फा ऑन फोर ग्लाइकोसाइडिक बॉन्ड सो हेयर दक्चर इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेरोलॉजी इज दिस इज ऑन शुगर मॉलिक्यूल ऑक्सीजन and another sugar molecule in this way the 100 to 6000 sugar molecules joined by glycosidic bond and produce this glucose unit that is ch CH two OH number one carbon two carbon three carbon four five and six okay and this is one number carbon two three four five and this is the glycosidic bond one number carbon of one sugar and another two number carbon of another next sugar combined By glycosidic bond and produce long chain of 
cellulose. Long chain of cellulose is an unbranched sugar. Cellulose, cellulose, cellulose is the most abundant. Cellulose, the point, cellulose is most abundant. Most abundant. Subse jada pai jane, ali, the sugar he, that is called cellulose. Cellulose, they are homopolysaccharide. 60, sorry, 160, 1600 to 6000 sugar unit joined by glycosidic bond to produce cellulose. Cellulose is most abundant homopolysaccharide. Homo means cellulose is made by only one type of sugar that is glucose. So it is called homopolysaccharide. Okay. But unluckily, we do not have any cellulose digestive enzyme in our digestive system. So the cellulose that derive from vegetables in our meal, in our meal, from our meal, they convert into raphids. Raphids make our large intestine slippery, so fishes are easily come out from our body. Clear? This is called beta on 4 on 4 glycosidic bond. Sidic bond. I think you understand. So, in this way, 1600 to 6000 sugar unit or glucose, uh, glucose sugar unit are joined by glycosidic bond and produce sugar. So, correct option is B. Next question. Eight number question is in which of the following linear polymeric biomolecules the two ends are described as reducing and non-reducing ends. So in which of the following biomolecules represent the long linear linear means linear polymeric by polymeric means multi-unit made multi-unit are joined and made this unit. So, the here the correct option is amylose. What is, uh, what is, the, uh, what is the mean, meaning of reducing and non reducing? The amylose is uh, amylose, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose and amylose starch, starch is divided into two types actor amylose, amylose, and amylopectin amylopectin okay the amylose is 20 percent of total starch and amylopectin is 80 percent of total starch Amylo amylose is amylose is unbranched it may be unbranched unbranched or the long chain of sugar unbranched this is branched okay the amylose is a polymerization large number of monosaccharide large number of monosaccharide monosaccharide are linearly joined by glycosidic bond and produce these polymeric biomolecules linear polymer because it is unbranched linear means it is unbranched unbranched polymeric means made by many unit of sugar unit of sugar Biomolecules means that produce inside the human body or organism. Two ends are described reducing and non reducing. Reducing end means reducing ends means presence of presence of aldehyde or ketone group. Aldehyde or ketone group ketone group <coughs> okay all monosaccharide are reducing sugar all monosaccharide saccharide are reducing sugar reducing sugar and some di di some disaccharides are and, and some disaccharide some 
डायसेकराइड तो जो एंड शुगर का एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन ग्रुप कंटेन करते हैं उसको कहते हैं रिड्यूसिंग शुगर एंड इन हुई एंड द एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन आर एबसेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड नॉन रिड्यूसिंग शुगर तो द नॉन रिड्यूसिंग एंड नॉन रिड्यूसिंग एंड डू नॉट कंटेन एल्डिहाइड और एल्डिहाइड और कीटन एज अ फंक्शनल ग्रुफ फंक्शनल ग्रुफ ओके All polysaccharides are all polysaccharides. Saccharides are non-reducing. Clear? So here, correct option is amylose. Proteins are not DNA. It's not reducing, non-reducing end. So here, next question is nine. So the question says, in a polysaccharide, in a polysaccharide, in a polysaccharide, the individual monosaccharides are linked by. So one sugar, one sugar is joined by another sugar by glycosidic bond. This is called glyco. Sidic bond, okay. And on the correct option is glycosidic bond. Peptide bond is present when one amino acid, one amino acid is joined by R one amino acid join uh, joined by. when on amino acid joined by peptide bond nh and c so here the peptide bond is formed this is peptide bond this is glycosidic bond the glycosidic bond presence between two monosaccharides and the peptide bond present between two amino acids this is peptide bond peptide bond an ester bond is produced between between the fatty acid and glycerol this is fatty glycerol and this is fatty acid and this is triacyl glycerol so this is called ester bond the ester bond present in ester bond present in lipid or between fatty acid and glycerol peptide bond present in protein where amino acid are joined by peptide bond or phosphodiester bond is present between nucleotides this is phosphate or nitrogen base CH2 phosphate this is phosphate phosphodiester bond that present between between nucleotide i think you totally understand the all bond that present in different biomolecules so in a polysaccharide the individual monosaccharides are linked by individual monosaccharides are linked by glycosidic bond and peptide bond where amino acid are joined by peptide bond ester bond when lipid fatty acid and glycerol 
fatty acid which are joined by ester bond phosphoroester bond between nucleotides the next question is find out the wrongly matched repair the primary metabolites ribose is a five carbon sugar is a primary metabolites secondary metabolites is anthocyanin it is a antioxidant pigment antioxidant pigment okay protein is insulin insulin is a protein hormone that regulate the blood glucose level but cellulose is a homopolysaccharide that means cellulose is made by only one type of sugar that is glucose glucose cell is most abundant homopolysaccharide that is made by 1600 to 6000 6000 sugar unit unit that is glucose joined by glycosidic bond and produce cellulose so here the wrongly matched answer is d next question the energy content the energy content kilocalorie per gram of carbohydrate protein and triglycerides triglycerol respectively is approximately in the ratio of so 1 gram of 1 gram of carbohydrate carbohydrate produce 4.3 kilocalorie of energy 1 gram of protein produce 4.1 kilo calorie of energy 1 gram of lipid produce 9.3 kilo calorie of energy so here the approximate approximate ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 2 correct option is b i think you understand this question 12 read the following 12 question number 12 read the following statement about fatty acid fatty acid fatty acid is one type of simple lipid fatty acid is simple lipid they possess one or more double bond in their structure in case of unsaturated fatty fatty acid unsaturated unsaturated means the fatty acid that remain liquid in room temperature that is called unsaturated fatty acid unsaturated fatty acid fatty acid contain on or more if single am i single double bond is present that is called mufa means mono unsaturated fatty acid mono unsaturated fatty acid mufa okay and when the more than one more than one single bond is present single bond is present no, sorry double bond double bond is present that is called pufa poly unsaturated fatty acid example of mono unsaturated fatty acid is unsaturated acid mufa is oleic acid oleic acid and pufa is arachidonic acid pufa is arachidonic acid arachidonic acid clear so they possess one or more double bond this okay their general formula is cn h2n minus 2x o2 they have low melting point so which of the following acid which of the uh, which of the following fatty acid fatty acid fulfill these three criteria okay one or more double bond in their structure their general formula in cns 2n minus 2x o2 and they have low melting point so palmitic acid palmitic acid palmitic acid is a saturated fatty acid saturated mean there is no double bond fatty acid it is c16 16 carbon containing fatty acid 
Stearic acid. Stearic acid also a saturated fatty acid. It is also saturated. Saturated. Saturated means the fatty acid that remain solid in room temperature and there is no double bond are present. What is double bond? Suppose this is okay CH2 CH2 this is the formula of saturated fatty acid no double bond is present but in case of unsaturated fatty acid there is CH2 CH2 CH single double bond is present CH2 this is called unsaturated fatty acid unsaturated due to presence of double bond so they are liquid in room temperature but saturated fatty acid is solid except for example dalda ghee etc and butter saturated but mustard oil is unsaturated fatty acid oleic acid oleic acid is a mono unsaturated fatty acid where c18 delta 9 or in nine number carbon there is a single double bond is present that is correct option is b because lauric acid also a saturated fatty acid c12 12 carbon containing saturated fatty acid so here i repeat this question again read the following statement about fatty acid तो फैटी एसिड के बारे में ये पॉइंट को रीड करो दे पॉजिटिव ऑन और मोर डबल बॉन्ड इन द स्ट्रक्चर सो सो हियर ऑन और मोर डबल बॉन्ड प्रेजेंट मींस दैट इज अनसैचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड देयर जनरल फार्मूला इज सी एन एस टू एन माइनस टू एक्स ओ टू एंड सी दे हैव लो मेल्टिंग पॉइंट व्हाट इज मेल्टिंग पॉइंट मेल्टिंग पॉइंट मींस इन व्हिच टेंपरेचर द मॉलिक्यूल स्टार्ट्स टू मेल्ट ओके इन व्हिच टेंपरेचर द मॉलिक्यूल स्टार्ट्स टू मेल्ट so unsaturated fatty acid means they present liquid at room temperature so they have low melting point but in case of saturated fatty acid that is dalda ghee butter they are solid in room temperature so has high melting point so saturated fatty acid has high melting point but unsaturated fatty acid has low melting point melting point so this three point represent the unsaturation unsaturation clear so this unsaturated fatty acid is example is oleic acid because palmitic acid stearic acid and lauric acid are saturated fatty acid which is not consistent without with double helical structure of dna adenine combined with thymine and cytosine with guanine cytosine with guanine guanine but here double bond is uh, not double bond triple bond is between adenine double bond join thymine and guanine double triple hydrogen bond with cytosine so this is not answer density of dna decrease on heating not density of dna always increase on heating because when the dna is heat when well, suppose this is dna when dna is heating heat they denature and denature and produce single standard of dna so it is called denaturation during denaturation the concentration of dna increase adenine plus thymine so it is con not constant okay it, this is kargoff's rules kargoff's rule okay according to kargoff's rule the adenine plus thymine cytosine guanine adenine plus thymine and cytosine plus guanine is constant in a given organism matlab ek organism ke andar adenine thymine guanine cytosine always constant okay not consistent not consistent in different organism 
एडमिन प्लस थायमिन साइटोसिन गोनिन इज नॉट कांस्टेंट अलग अलग ऑर्गेनिज्म में एडमिन थायमिन गोनिन साइटोसिन को नॉट कांस्टेंट बट सिंगल ऑर्गेनिज्म सिंगल एवरी सिंगल ऑर्गेनिज्म हैज कांस्टेंट एडमिन थायमिन साइटोसिन गोनिन तो हियर द सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए न्यूक्लियोटाइड इज परफॉर्मड ऑफ न्यूक्लियो व्हाट इज मेड ऑफ व्हिच कंपोनेंट मेड न्यूक्लियोटाइड तो न्यूक्लियो न्यूक्लियोटाइड बनाने के लिए फिर क्या चाहिए हमें एक फाइव कार्बन कंटेनिंग राइबोज शुगर राइबोज शुगर देन नाइट्रोजन बेस एंड फॉस्फेट थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ओके तो दैट इज सी एच टू ओ फॉस्फेट ग्रुप प्रेजेंट हेयर ओ नाइट्रोजन बेस एडन इन बोन इन साइडोसिन और थाइमिन एडन इन और बोन इन और साइडोसिन और थाइमिन Okay. So this is the this is the component of a nucleotide. So nitrogen-based sugar and phosphate C is the correct option. Next question: A segment of DNA has 120 adenine and 120 cytosine bases. The total number of nucleotide present in the segment. So 120 according to Kargov's rule, adenine according to Watson and Crick, adenine always combined with thymine and guanine always combined with cytosine. So Watson and according to Watson and Crick, in an double helical structure, number of adenine always constant with number of thymine, and number of guanine always constant number of cytosine. If So here the adenine is 120. That means that is that means means thymine always 120, and cytosine is 120. 120. That means guanine also 120. Because cytosine combined with guanine and adenine combined with thymine. So total number of total number of nucleotide is 480. If suppose say for example if number of adenine number of adenine is 120 and number of thymine is 100. In this type of equation, you you clearly understand this is single stranded DNA. This is represent. In this type, in this type of data are given in any questions, you completely understand that this is uh, this is single stranded DNA, single single strand DNA. Because in case of double stranded DNA, the adenine always com uh, combined with thymine and guanine always combined with cytosine. Next question, sixteen. Which of the which is wrong about nucleic acid? DNA is a single stranded in some virus. Definitely, some virus, some DNA containing virus is simian 14 virus. Then SB 14, simian 14 virus is single stranded DNA. RNA is a double stranded occasionally in some plant virus. RNA is double stranded in rota virus. Rota virus on tumor virus. On tumor virus, clear. Length of one helix of 45 angstrom in B DNA. Length of one helix. Not in case of B DNA. In case of B DNA, this is B DNA. This is complete turn. This is complete turn. It is 34 angstrom. Not the Uh, length of the helix 45 angstrom. This 34 angstrom is complete turn. This complete turn represents 34 angstrom. So this is not correct option C. One turn of Z DNA has 12 bases. One turn of DNA 18 bases. So 12 bases. One turn of 12 bases. Right. That's in case of A, B, and Z DNA. The Complete turn, complete turn, length of complete turn 
is in case of a dna that is uh, 26 angstrom 26 angstrom 34 angstrom and here the 37 angstrom okay number of base pair per ton number of base pair per ton means in this complete ton region this is complete ton region number of base pair is 10 so here is here is 11 base pair this 10 base pair 11 base pair 10 base pair and this is 12 base pair clear the wide diameter diameter is 20 angstrom in case of diameter diameter 20 angstrom in case of b dna and in case of a dna that is 26 angstrom 26 angstrom and in case of z dna that is 18 angstrom and last point is a dna is right handed right handed right handed and z dna is left handed z dna is found mainly in archaeobacteria clear so this is the this is this is a dna and b dna is this is b dna and this is z dna z dna a dna b dna and z dna clear so here the wrong about nucleic acid c next question anticodon occur in definitely anticodon occur in tRNA because in case of tRNA this is clover leaf structure model is present this is variable loop and this is t psi loop and this is a c c so 5 prime 3 prime hydroxyl group this is d loop d h d h u loop okay dihydro dh means dihydrouridine dihydrouridine uridine okay this is t psi loop t psi loop this is variable region variable region and this is anticodon region anticodon so what is the function of this region okay so this recognize recognize codon of mrna codon of mrna this t psi loop recognize the ribosome recognize ribosome ribosome okay and this dh loop recognize recognize the enzyme amino acyl amino acyl trna synthase direct translation and this region attach amino acid so an anticodons occur in trna a, this is the clover leaf model of trna where one three prime hydroxyl end is <coughs> attach amino acid dh loop recognize amino acid trna synthetase d t psi loop recognize ribozyme and this is variable region this is change in different trna and anticodon is that recognize codon of the mrna okay ribosome and dna and 18 number question in in a percentage of time in 20 percent and what will be percentage of guanine the same question adenine is 20 percent means thymine also 20 percent 
तो रिमेन 100 माइनस 40 दैट इज 60 परसेंट सो गुआन इज 30 परसेंट एंड साइटोसिन इज 30 परसेंट 30 परसेंट सो द परसेंटेज ऑफ गुआन इज 30 परसेंट सी इज द करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 19 नंबर क्वेश्चन में द फॉलोइंग रेशियो ऑफ जनरली कांस्टेंट फॉर अ गिवन स्पीशीज इन अ सिंगल स्पीशीज द एडेनिन प्लस थायमिन एंड गुआनिन प्लस साइटोसिन इज ऑलवेज एडेनिन प्लस गुआनिन साइटोसिन थायमिन इज ऑलवेज कांस्टेंट इज ऑलवेज कांस्टेंट एडेनिन प्लस थायमिन एंड गुआनिन साइटोसिन इज ऑलवेज कांस्टेंट दैट इज एडेनिन प्लस थायमिन बाय गुआनिन प्लस साइटोसिन इज इक्वल टू 1 ओके द सी करेक्ट ऑप्शन 20 नंबर क्वेश्चन डोंट नो क्वेश्चन सेज व्हिच फॉर्म ऑफ आरएनए हैज अ स्ट्रक्चर इज इन क्लोवर लिप तो इन बिफोर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन वी डिस्कस द क्लोवर लिप मॉडल ऑफ टीआरएनए दैट इज डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन 20 नंबर वन नंबर क्वेश्चन इफ द लेंथ ऑफ डबल हेलिकल डीएनए इज 1.7 मीटर द नंबर ऑफ बेस पेयर प्रेजेंट इन द डीएनए इज suppose this is the dna of double helical okay this is the double helical dna so we know that the complete turn this is this turn represent 34 angstrom okay and the number total number of base is 10 base pair uh, suppose adenine thymine adenine thymine guanine cytosine this is base pair for number of base pair is one complete turn is 34 and strong so distance between two base pair distance between two base pair is 3.4 and strong okay so here here the 10 base 34 and strong 34 and strong or 3.4 or uh, sorry 34 angstrom or 34 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter represent 10 base pair clear so 1 meter represent 10 by 34 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter okay then 1.7 meter represent 10 into 1.7 by 10 to the power minus 10 so here 34 2 to 5 0 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 is the correct option. 5 into 9. Okay. Because 1 angstrom, 1 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter. I think you understand this question. 22 no, two number question. DNA contain nuclear bases. Nuclear bases means adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, sugar, and phosphate. Removal of which among these forms a DNA sample will not significantly affect the length of DNA. So here we can see this is the nucleotide joined by phosphodiester bond. Oh, here nitrogen bases are present. Here nitrogen bases are present okay again another nucleotide so if we remove phosphodiester bond if we remove phosphate then the length of dna is decreased if we remove nitrogen base also affect the length of dna but if we remove the nucleo bases that is nitrogen nitrogen bases if we remove nitrogen bases that do not affect the length of the dna so the removal of removal of nitrogen bases 
from the southern nucleotide polynucleotide chain chain do not affect the length do not affect the length of the dna so correct option is a okay phosphate and sugar affect the length of the dna 23 number question which is a typical example of feedback inhibition what is feedback inhibition feed inhibition is a inhibition by inhibition inhibition by end product this is called feedback inhibition suppose suppose <coughs> glucose is converted to glucose 6 phosphate by hexokinase hexokinase enzyme clear hexokinase that convert atp into adp this activity of hexokinase enzyme is inhibited by glucose 6 phosphate inhibited by glucose 6 phosphate okay so it is single direction reaction not reversible reaction okay if we want to reverse this reaction glucose 6 phosphate to glucose use you can use glucokinase glucokinase not hexokinase that convert adp adp into adp into atp okay so here the feedback inhibition reaction example is allosteric inhibition of hexokinase by glucose 6 phosphate c is the correct option 23 number season but and and the remaining option is explained cyanide and cytochrome oxidate if cyanide if you, if you use cyanide 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 deactivate deactivate cytochrome oxidase that is electron carrier cytochrome oxidase that is the electron carrier in uh, electron transport system cytochrome oxidase so here do not estrogen produce this is the non competitive inhibition here if we add more substrate for this reaction but no reaction is occur non competitive non competitive reaction here cyanide atas bind with cytochrome but copper ion of copper ion of cytochrome oxidase the cytochrome oxidase become deactivated deactivated when deactivated deactivate deactivate show no aerobic respiration no aerobic respiration occur because cytochrome oxidase is the final oxygen acceptor final final electron acceptor where electron combine with oxygen and produce water no aerobic respiration occur that that is anaerobic respiration occur anaerobic respiration 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 so hypoxia in every organ hypoxia and lack of oxygen in every organ occurs hypoxia hypoxia occur that means when you use cyanide cyanide combined with the electron carrier of cytochrome of the electron transport system cytochrome oxidase the cytochrome oxide do not combine uh, do not show the combined proton with some of the oxygen okay so here no aerobic respiration occur anaerobic respiration occur so final hypoxia is appear in every organ cytochrome oxidase in the, this reaction is a non competitive reaction non competitive inhibition reaction non competitive inhibition reaction okay next is next question point sulfur drugs and folic acid synthesizer bacteria because sulfur drug sulfur drug is a bacteriostatic bacterio static means it inhibit the growth of bacteria not bacteria that is do not kill the bacteria but inhibit the bacteria back to bacterial growth by inhibiting by inhibiting inhibiting 
folic acid synthesizer that is the name of the folic acid synthesizer is dihydrophorate synthase dihydrophorate inhibit dihydrophorate synthase synthase okay synthase that produce folic acid this dihydrophorate synthase produce in human body the folate or folic acid do not folic acid do not produce or synthesize they this folic acid derived from metabolic product metabolic food but in case of bacteria there is folic acid synthesis occur by dihydrophorate dihydrophorate synthetic this enzyme is inhibited by sulfa drug okay sulfa drug this is competitive inhibitor that means if we use more substrate they overcome the enzyme inhibition reaction competitive inhibitor okay reaction between succinate dehydrogen and succinic acid succinate convert succinic uh, succ succinate succinate to fumarate fumarate by succinate dehydrogenase clear here fad2 fads2 convert fad2 d plus 2 fa ds2 convert but here here succinic acid uh, and uh, reaction between because this succinate dehydrogenase is inhibited by malonate 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 is the malonate what is malonate malonate is resemble with substrate succinate malonate is resemble with the substrate succinate so it inhibit the succinate dehydrogenase to convert fumarate okay this is a competitive inhibitor competitive inhibitor inhibition so which type of example feedback inhibition the right answer is allosteric inhibition of hexokinase by glucose 6 phosphate cyan is a non competitive inhibitor sulfa drug competitive inhibitor reaction between succinic dehydrogenase and succinic acid is also a competitive inhibition 24 cofactor prosthetic group is a part of follow enzyme so what is enzyme enzyme has two part that is protein part and non protein part active enzyme active enzyme has two part protein and non protein part the protein part is called apoenzyme apoenzyme a non protein part is two type that is cofactor Uh, cofactor cofactor or coenzyme the so cofactor or prosthetic group is cofactor and prosthetic group prosthetic group the so when this non protein part is loosely attached loosely attached to protein part loosely attached this is called cofactor when firmly attached khub dhiro pa jokhon to when it combined firmly to the protein part or apoenzyme part this is called non protein part is called coenzyme firmly attached this is called prosthetic group the example of cofactor is nad fad nad plus fad plus and here is heme biotin okay the enzyme active enzyme has two part that is protein part and non protein part the protein part attached when firmly with non protein part that is called prosthetic group and when uh, apoenzyme is mon uh, loosely attached with the synco apo apo loosely attached with non protein part that is called cofactor so here cofactor is part of follow enzyme it is loosely accessory non protein substance attached firmly prosthetic group attached firmly that is c is the cofactor uh, correct answer
which of which factor is responsible for inhibition of enzymatic process during feedback substrate end product the definitely end product end product suppose enzyme plus substrate produce enzyme temporary substrate enzyme substrate complex then again produce enzyme plus product this product inhibit the action of enzyme this is called feedback inhibition feedback inhibition okay substrate concentration increase the rate of reaction up to v max and temperature uh, after up to 45 degrees centigrade the activity of the enzyme decrease 26 number an example of non competitive inhibition the inhibition of succinate dehydrogenase succinate dehydrogenase convert succinate succinate to fumarate fumarate here but is the malonate is the analogous of analog of analog of analog means the similar product similar product is <coughs> succinate malonate so malonate inhibit the conversion of succinate to fumarate okay so this is a competitive inherited this is competitive competitive cyanide action on cytochrome oxidase cyanide deactivated cytochrome oxidase it is a competitive non-competitive it is not reversible non-competitive competitive not reversible okay sulfur drug and folic acid this is also competitive competitive then hexokine glucose 6 phosphate it is feedback inhibition feedback inhibition so here right option is c cyanide 29 the tightly bound tightly bound non proteinaceous organic compound is prosthetic group that is heme biotin and loosely enzyme part loosely bound part example nad plus fad plus fad hollow enzyme apo enzyme plus coenzyme means protein plus non protein part accumulately called hollow enzyme apo enzyme is the protein part of the enzyme so tightly bound part is prosthetic group tightly bound part is prosthetic group select the type of enzyme involved in the following reaction so here what happened s bond g plus s the product is s bond s dash s dash bond g so here the G is transferred and combined with second S dash. So here the functional group is transferred from one molecule to another molecule. So it is called transferase enzyme. Transferase enzyme. In case of lyase enzyme, the bond break down without water. Bond break without water. Bond break down. Break down without water water with water bond breakdown with water oxidation and reduction reaction occur here oxidation and reduction reaction next question next question is select the incorrect statement select the incorrect statement incorrect ribozyme are nucleic acid with catalytic for ribozyme is a rna derived enzyme rna derived enzyme this is right option nucleic acid serve as genetic different nucleic acid dna or rna serve as genetic material 
Collagen is the most abundant protein in the whole of the biosphere and Rubisco is the most abundant protein in the animal world. Collagen is a most abundant protein in the whole of the biosphere. No problem. But Rubisco is a one type of enzyme, not proteins. This is enzymes in plant. Okay, that that consume CO2 from atmosphere during Kelvin cycle. Protein and nucleic acid and polysaccharide are the only three type macromolecules found in the living system. Protein nucleic acid and polysaccharide three are mono macromolecules macromolecules means molecular weight more than 1000 dalton so here the wrong answer is c so the c is the wrong answer because collagen is the most abundant protein in the whole of the biosphere not whole of the biosphere this is animal world but rubisco is the most abundant enzyme that found in whole biosphere next question 32 with reference to enzyme turnover number turnover number means enzyme combined with substrate produce enzyme substrate complex then it converted to enzyme and product so here the number of substrate molecule that a molecules of an enzyme convert into product per hour not per hour that is per minute that is per minute not per hour Mane, sub, substrate convert to product per minute is called turnover number so the number of this is not not our this is this is, this is the problem the number of substrate molecule that a molecule of an enzyme convert into product per second not second the number of substrate or molecules that a molecules of an enzyme convert into product per minute this is the c is the correct option number of substrate molecule that a molecule enzyme convert to no, per day not the substrate convert into product per minute is called turn over number then the next option next question Thirty-three number question: The enzyme amylase belong to the classes. Amyl, amylase. Amylase means this is hydrolytic enzyme. Amylase, uh, lipase, uh, lipase, and perhaps into digestive enzyme break down the foods in the presence of water. This is amylase is a hydrolase enzyme. Transfer means when the enzyme transfer a functional group from one molecule to another. This is transferage. Suppose S G S this is reaction so here the G transfer G transfer and combine with it and plus S dash so this G is transferred into S this is called transferase reaction isomerase means suppose glucose 6 phosphate okay here the produce this aldose aldose sugar so it convert into fructose 6 phosphate this is ketose sugar this is isomerase lyase lyase means break down of bonds without water water is called lyase example we call fumarase Fumarase. Okay. Example of transferage is hexokinase. This is hexokinase. Amylase. The next of next question. All the living statement about the structure of glycogen are true expert, except glycogen glycogen is a storage product 
of animals fungi and some bacteria here the when the blood glucose level is exit or more then this glucose convert into this glucose is convert into glycogen glycogen in the presence presence of enzyme insulin a hormone insulin and it is stored in skeletal muscle and liver so it is a branch chain occur about every 10 residue true except it is a copolymer glucose and galactose not it is a polymer of only glucose not glucose and galactose this is the this is the answer or this is wrong answer so what is the uh, uh, structure of glu uh, glucose uh, glycogen suppose this is the glucose molecule glucose molecule combined with beta 1 for glycosidic bond glycosidic bond Next, this is a chain of this is the chain chain of glucose that is combined with glycosidic bond okay and here o ch2 So here this is beta because 1 number 1 2 3 4 5 and CH2OH 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 number uh, glucose unit so here the 1 number and 4 number 1 number and 4 number, 1 number carbon of 1 sugar combined with the 4 number carbon of 1 sugar this is called beta on 4 glycosidic bond glycosidic bond and the branch chain is formed between the 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 6 CH2 6 6 number carbon so beta on 6 on six glycosidic bond. The in case of glycogen here alpha one for glycosidic bond and alpha which is alpha for alpha one for glycosidic bond and alpha one six glycosidic bond are present. But alpha one side is, is a, alpha one six glycosidic bond is a side chain, side chain or branched chain, and this is the linear chain. Clear. So here the the branch chain occur about every 10 residue. This branch occur every 10 residue. 10 residue. So here the B is the wrong answer. 35. Which of the following explain about quaternary structure of protein? Quaternary means when the sub hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a 4 sub unit of 4 sub unit combined with produce alpha 2 and beta 2 we do a two alpha chain and two beta chain are combined to produce the quaternary structure like hemoglobin the arrangement of amino acid in the polypeptide chain the interrelationship of amino acid in the polypeptide chain interrelation between polypeptide chains of the proteins have a more than two polypeptide chains okay c is the correct option c is the correct option here more than two polypeptide chains do two poly alpha polypeptide chain two beta polypeptide chain are combined to form this structure so interrelation between the polypeptide chain of a proteins have a more than two polypeptide chains the arrangement of amino acid in the polypeptide chains this is protein this is single chain protein primary structure primary structure Interrelationship of amino acid in a polypeptide chain, this is secondary structure. Secondary structure. That is interrelationship. This is alpha helix. Here it will defined bond or form. Interrelationship of or beta sheet. Interrelation. Do bond to bond. 
इट इज कल हम सेकेंड स्ट्राक्चर प्रोटीन इट शोज टू फॉर आलफा हेलिक्स विटा सीट आलफा हेलिक्स विटा सीट सो ए कार्ड अपन इज इंटरलेसनशिप बिटुईन द पलिपेप्टाइड चेन अफ ए प्रोटीन हाविंग मोर दैन टू पलिपेप्टाइड चेन्स दैट इज क्वार्टर स्ट्राक्चर थार्टी सिक्स नम्बर हुईच अफ द फलोईंग स्टेटमेंट रेफार्स टू मेटाबलिजम मेटाबलिजम मीस डायजेशन फूड डायजेस्टेड इन द एलिमेंट्री कैनल तो लेट्स सी ऑप्शन द साम ऑफ ऑल एंजामेटिकली कैटालाइज केमिकल रिएक्शन कॉन्स्टेंटली टेकिंग प्लेस इन द सेल एंड टीस्यू सब्लम कॉन्स्टेंटली टेकिंग प्लेस इन द सेल एंड टीस्यूज बी नंबर द प्रोसेस दैट रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लार्जर मॉलिकल नॉट ड्यूरिंग मेटाबोलिज्म लार्जर टू स्मॉलर लार्जर टू स्मॉलर इज फॉर्म से फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉलिसकाराइड पॉलिसकाराइड टू मोनोसकाराइड मोनोस पॉलिसकाराइड टू मोनोसकाराइड इज ऑकर सकाराइड डेर मेटाबोलिज्म सो दिस इज रॉन्ग एंसर द प्रोसेस दैट ब्रेक डाउन द लार्ज मॉलिक्यूल्स फॉर दिस इज आल्सो राइज राइट कोमा पेशेंट डज नॉट शो मेटाबोलिज्म कोमा पेशेंट्स ऑल्सो शो मेटाबोलिज्म ओके बट ब्रेन डेड कोमा कोमा मींस ब्रेन डेड ब्रेन डेड पर्सन सो 36 number represent the sum of all enzymatic protein lipid carbohydrate digestion in different part of body that is mouth stomach small intestine large intestine so this is the correct option the sum of all enzymatically catalyzed chemical reaction that constantly taking place in the cells and tissues of the living organism how does an enzyme increase the rate of reaction by bringing the reaction molecules into precise orientation only for uh, enzyme only uh, on bringing the reaction molecule into precise orientation not only orientation by increasing the rate of random collision of molecules by shifting the point of equilibrium of the reaction not enzyme do not shift the reaction at the equilibrium state by supplying the energy required to start the reaction here the correct option is b that is by increasing the rate of random collision of the molecules because if we enzyme plus substrate the enzyme substrate first collided or combined then enzyme and product so here collision occur next point 38 cofactor prosthetic group are accessory non protein substance attached family next question what is the common feature in all the compounds found in the acid soluble food so where in, in organic substance organic product okay here two compounds are found here acid soluble acid soluble acid insoluble the acid solubles means they are 18 to 800 dalton molecular weight here 1000 dalton molecular weight this is called bio micromolecules micro molecule this is called macro bio macro molecules example amino acid glucose nucleoside here the polysaccharide polysaccharide proteins okay they have molecular weight the acid soluble pool acid soluble pool means they have molecular weight during 18 to 800 dalton approximately they have molecular weight 18 to 18 80 to 80 not here a is the correct option 
the correct order of chemical composition the correct order of chemical composition of living tissue the in living tissue the most abundant element is liquid water s2 then 50% protein the s2 in our body s2 present in 70 to 90% then protein present in 10 to 15% then nucleic acid nucleic acid is present 5 to 7 percent and carbohydrate carb present in 3 percent lipid present in 2 percent and ions different type of ions you know, 1 percent so here the correct option is b s2 protein nucleic acid carbohydrate lipid and ions next question is 41 which one of the following combines co combination of all three fatty acid are essential for human beings essential fatty acid means the fatty acid do not produce in our body that is taken from outside the body with metabolites so here the correct option is linoleic acid linolenic acid and arachidonic acid the linoleic acid is c18 18 carbon containing poly mon polyunsaturated fatty acid poly unsaturated fatty acid linoleic acid linoleic linoleic acid is 18 carbon containing double bond fatty acid and arachidonic acid is c20 20 carbon containing 5 18 11 and 14 there they all are polyunsaturated fatty acid here 3 9 number carbon 12 number carbon 15 number carbon containing double bond and linoleic acid 9 number and 12 number carbon contain double bond in arachidonic acid 5 18 5 18 5 8 8 11 and 14 4 double bond are present they all are polyunsaturated unsaturated fatty acid here oleic acid oleic acid also oleic acid is uh, mono unsaturated fatty acid that is c18 carbon 18 carbon containing del n nine number carbon contain the double bond linoleic acid arachidonic acid arachidonic acid is C the palmitic acid, linoleic acid, and arachidonic acid. Palmitic acid, palmitic acid is a saturated fatty acid that is C16 saturated fatty acid. So, which one of the following combine all the three fatty are essential for human being? The essential means that taken by food from outside, do not produce in our body that is linoleic acid linolenic acid and arachidonic acid all are poly and poly unsaturated fatty acid but here oleic acid is unsaturated linolenic and unsaturated fatty c18 containing okay the oleic acid is a non-essential amino acid palmitic acid also non-essential and a fatty acid 42 number question which of the following is an example of competitive inhibitor competitive means when enzyme enzyme during enzyme and substrate concentration in a reaction enzyme plus substrate enzyme substrate complex then product is produced enzyme plus product here inhibitor combined inhibitor combined with enzyme and produce enzyme inhibitor complex enzyme inhibitor complex share this is the enzyme and this is the active site active site of the enzyme the two combine with enzyme inhibitor inhibitor and substrate inhibitor and substrate both are compete with with them okay within inhibitor and substrate both compete to join in the active site of the enzyme so this is a recover of a reversible reaction okay if we add more substrate then inhibitor chance of 
inhibitor binding is less so this is called competitive inhibition succinate dehydrogen by malonic acid this is competitive inhibition cytochrome oxidase by cyanide non competitive non competitive means do not recoverable competitive inhibition hexokinetic feedback inhibition feedback back inhibition inhibition this is carbonic anhydrase come h2o and co2 combined with carbonic anhydrase to produce h2 co3 okay then again carbonic anhydrase produce h plus plus h co3 minus okay this carbonic anhydrase it's going to be inhibit by the end product by the end product that is it's also feedback inhibition reaction so here also only competitive inhibitor is competitive in here means where the inhibitor is uh, inhibitor is compete with substrate to bind the active side of the enzyme to produce product tip inhibitor the next question is 43 which of the following statement is true about anti parallel strand of dna molecule the phosphate group of two dna strand at their end share the same position not the phosphate group at the start of two dna strand are on in opposite po position one strand turns clockwise one strand turns anti clockwise so here the correct option is b is true so the 43 b the phosphate group it starts phosphate means this is nucleotide this is o this is phosphate this is o again o phosphate this is called phosphoester bond and in case of anti parallel structure this phosphate also present here so the opposite position because anti parallel structure Which of the following is typical example of feedback inhibition? The feedback inhibition is allosteric inhibition of hexokinase by glucose 6 phosphate. 45 enzymes, vitamins, and hormones can be classified into single category of biological chemical reaction because all of these helps in regulation of metabolism. Metabolism. So enzyme and vitamins and hormones. Okay, all regulate the metabolism process. Are exclusively synthesized in the body of living organisms are present. So definitely present, but they regulate metabolism. This is the correct option. Forty-five, forty-six. Amino acid. This is the free, uh, acidic amino acid. The acid, aspartic acid, and glutamic acid is the acidic amino acid. Basic amino acid: lysine, arginine, and histidine. Neutral amino acid. This is valine. A uh, tyrosine tryptophan phenylalanine is the phenylalanine is the aromatic amino acid. So correct option is 46 is A. Acidic amino acid A2, glutamic acid, basic amino acid means lysine, arginine, histidine, glutamic acid, aspartic acid. tyrosine tryptophan tyrosine tryptophan okay valine glycine leucine lysine etc next question 47 match the columns and find out the correct combination insulin insulin is a insulin insulin is a hormone collagen is the intracellular ground substance receptor trypsin trypsin is an enzyme and receptor is a sensory receptor the one a4 uh, sorry a2 a2 b5 a2 b5 c1 and d4 d is the correct option 48 match the following reaction with the enzyme that catalyzes the reaction s reduced s oxidized oxid A reduction oxidation both occur that is oxido reductase suppose example dehydrogenase 
then sg is transfer of functional group from here to here that is transfer age xy here the bond is break down and normal group process lies is example free marriage so here a and c a is 3 a3 a3 b1 c2 b is the correct option next question is 49 which of the following statement regarding enzyme inhibition is correct competitive inhibition is seen when a substrate competes with an enzyme for binding to an inhibitory protein but not this is the this is if this is the sub enzyme if this is enzyme 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 the inhibitor and substrate are analogous structure that combine that compete uh, inhibitor and substrate combine they compete to binding the active site of the enzyme non competitive inhibition often often bind to the enzyme irreversibly not non competitive in case of non competitive enzyme enzyme bind with active site and also allosteric site active site and also allosteric site this is the allosteric site okay i'll say so here the inhibitor mane in case of competitive inhibitor enzyme plus substrate enzyme substrate complex then enzyme plus product here inhibitor combined with i enzyme and produce enzyme inhibition enzyme inhibitor complex but in case of non competitive inhibitor enzyme plus substrate then enzyme substrate complex produce then enzyme plus product here the inhibitor combined with an enzyme produce enzyme inhibitor complex and also combined enzyme substrate so enzyme substrate inhibitor complex are form so competitive inhibition is seen when the substrate and the inhibitor compete for the active site on the enzyme. this is the correct option non competitive inhibition of an enzyme can be overcome by adding lagna this is competitive competitive inhibition this is competitive in case of competitive inhibition the enzyme substrate enzyme inhibition reaction is recover by adding of more amount of substrate to the enzyme sub enzyme reaction 50 number question read the following statement lecithin is found in cell membrane because lecithin is just the vesicle that transfers from the protein molecule from one to another place collagen is most abundant protein in the whole of the biosphere definitely right this is right option this is right option collagen is the most abundant protein in the whole of the whole of the collagen collagen whole of the, not biosphere this is animal world animal world not biosphere chitin is found in cell of fungi this is the right option fats have higher melting point than oil oil means liquid in room temperature liquid in room temperature okay that is mustard oil but in case of fats fats are solid in room temperature solid in room temperature that is ghee that is ghee that is ghee dalda okay so the melting point is of option the fats are more than oils jute ion form can be observed in amino acid this is isoelectric point when net charge is zero net charge zero protein is a homopolymer protein is a homopolymer this is right so here the maximum here the wrong answer is this b option is wrong but on to is the, the maximum statement is 5 but 4 is true for answer 47 insulin insulin is a hormone 
collagen industrial substance receptor is the receptor sensor reception tripsin is enzyme the a2 a2 b5 a2 b5 and c1 c1 the d is the correct option 52 statement cellulose does not give iodine taste but starch gives iodine taste cellulose does not give iodine taste but but uh, it starts and uh, this is the and and what it starts from helical structure but cellulose does not contain complex helical here a is the kind of both statement a and b right because cellulose does not have iodine taste because it has no no helical structure no helical structure cellulose do, does not have helical structure so do not so iodine test but it starts so iodine helical structure so it so iodine test so correct option is answer is a both statement a and b are correct enzyme substrate complex is short lived means enzyme plus substrate enzyme substrate complex is very short lived and product is formed enzyme plus product this is short lived right cofactor are bound to the enzyme to make the enzyme catalytically active both option are uh, correct but do not explain both option are correct b also a answer c coenzyme nicotinamide adenine nucleotide contain a vitamin no vitamin this is not right the association of coenzyme with apoenzyme enduring enduring means long lasting enduring enduring means long lasting no because they are loosely attached loosely attached not firmly attached we are firmly attached with prostatic group so here b is the correct option c number state of one is correct so coenzyme nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nadp contain a vitamin oh it's not so sorry, sorry this option is right but this option is wrong so c is the correct option biomolecules which are found in the acid soluble fraction are considered micromolecules because in acid insoluble portion is not micro this is macromolecules because in insoluble portion the size of the sun molecules is more than 1000 dalton more than 1000 dalton biomolecules found in acid insoluble fraction have molecular weight less than not more than 1000 dalton more than 1000 dalton the so d is the b is option correct both are false adenine and guanine are substitute purines purines adenine guanine substitute purines means transition uh, uh, sorry again uh, here transversion occur adenine and guanine has heterocyclic ring has either amino or amino and oxy groups so here the last option is the correct option a is the correct the figure given below shows the conversion of substance into product of enzyme in which one of the four option the component of reaction label a b and c d a a is up here what is potential energy potential energy of a substance for in potential energy means <coughs> energy energy stored in chemical bond potential energy energy stored in a chemical bond bond that inhibit inhibit the enzyme to break or energy release after break the bond after break the bond this is called potential energy transition state means enzyme plus substrate enzyme substrate complex then enzyme plus product so this is this is called transition state transition state 
एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिक्वायर एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी हॉट इज एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी मींस मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी मिनिमम अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिक्वायर टू प्रोड्यूस टू स्टार्ट अ रिएक्शन a reaction so in this case a is the transition state a is the transition state b is the potential energy potential when the enzyme and substrate are combined or enzyme and substrate defines potential energy potential energy and c or, or c or d c and d is the activation energy Without enzyme, C without enzyme and D with enzyme. So what is the function of enzyme? A function of enzyme is decrease the activation energy. So here B is the correct option. Last question is given below is the graph showing the effect of substrate concentration or enzyme velocity in the presence of a competitive in concentration of the substrate is progressively increased. V max means maximum velocity. Here, maximum amount of energy, maximum of of substrate convert to product. But here half V max, means fifty percent substrate convert to product. But here hundred percent substrate convert to product V max. K M is the substrate concentration. K S S S substrate. K M is the affinity of substrate. Affinity of substrate to enzyme. If K M value, if Km value increase. Efficiency of enzyme. Efficiency of enzyme decrease. Km means it is called Michaelis maintain constant. Michaelis Michaelis maintain constant. Km. The Km is a Michaelis maintain constant. Efficiency of enzyme decrease. <coughs> the K, what is Km? Km is the concentration of substrate. Concentration of substrate to activate to achieve to achieve half V max means. Fifty percent substrate convert to product. That is Km. So the reaction velocity reaches the maximum at low substrate content. Not maximum velocity reaches the um, reaches reaches the reaches the maximum velocity in high substrate concentration. High substrate maximum. If competitive inhibitors binds to an active site of the enzyme, com competitive which means In the active side, both inhibitor and both inhibitor and substrate compete to bind the active side of the enzyme. The active side of the enzyme it would not change the maximum velocity in case of in case of competitive inhibitor. Newton V max is not changed. This is the correct option B. Do not change this. Do not change. If an inhibitor that closely is, but in case of compete, suppose this is the suppose this is. If an inhibitor that closely resembles the substrates binds to the active site of the enzyme, it would be increase the K of the reaction. The if this is, this is the normal reaction. In case of competitive inhibitor, in case of competitive inhibitor, inhibitor, the slope is looks like this. The competitive, competitive. So no V max change, V max change. But K M, this is substrate concentration. So here the K M value, K M. But in case of Competition Km value increase, the Km value increase, but in case of non-competitive inhibition, 
non competitive inhibition km is same but non competitive inhibition here km is same non competitive km same but vmax decrease vmax decrease okay in case of non competitive inhibition non competitive inhibition non competitive inhibition first clearly understand this graph in case of non competitive inhibition this is non competitive non competitive competitive in case of normal normal no inhibitor no in blue line is no inhibitor line so here vmax and came normally present this came but in when the competitive inhibition occur the km increase but km km increase km increase vmax unchanged unchanged clear but in case of substrate concentration in case of non competitive inhibition the vkm is constant and v, vmax is decrease the if an inhibitor that closely resemble the substrate bind to the active site of enzyme it would increase the k of the reaction this is also right so here the right option is d so this is the end of this video this video is very important for your neat exam or any other biology com biological competitive exam competitive exams okay based on biology so you must watch this video and understand the each and every questions and every point properly uh, i think this video help you a lot so if you have any problem comment me any uh, any doubt comment me on comment box so thank you for watching this video thank you